if you are trying to set up Shopify payments, but you are on a low budget, maybe you don't have money to set up LLC or set up a UK company. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a proven method that you can use to set up a Shopify payment without US LLC or UK company. First, I'm going to be walking you through the requirements you are going to need for this setup. Then I'm going to be telling you the advantage and the disadvantages of using this method. Now, for you to use this method, you need four things. The first thing you are going to need is going to be a UK phone number. So you can actually get virtual phone number from Numero or the other app out there. And the second thing you are going to need is going to be real UK address, which I'm going to walk you through on how you can get it soon. Then the third thing you are going to need is going to be utility B, which I'm also going to talk about how you can get it uh, along the line. Then the last thing you are going to need is going to be government approved ID. You can use your country government approved ID. If you are from Nigeria, you can use driver's license or passports from Nigeria. If you are from India, other country, Bangladesh, you can use your passports or uh, government ID like driver's license. Now, what is the disadvantage and advantage of using this method? Now, I'm going to talk about the advantage first. The advantage of using this method is that it's going to save you costs. You don't have to, you know, the cost of setting up a US LLC or UK company is kind of expensive. So, it's going to save you that cost. And if you're also trying to test the water, maybe you are trying to test if this business is going to work or not. This kind of gives you an advantage that, okay, let me just test this with, if, if it's going to work or not. And if anything goes wrong, you don't have to be worried about how you can close down your US LLC or your UK company and all that. Now, the disadvantage is that this method is not as secure or is not as safe as using the uh, US LLC or UK company method. But at least this is a good start for you to get started with the method now with this method you should be able to receive few payments on shopify store so without wasting much time let's jump right into it all right so this is the new store i opened this store for the purpose of this video so if i go to the store this is the store right here if i refresh it i only add one product because i just want to use this product as a as practical once you get here you want to come to setting then other setting if you go to payments from here, you can see that there is no way to add a Shopify payment. If you come here and type Shopify payment, you are not going to see it. Let me just type Shopify payment right here. You can see that there is nothing like Shopify payment here. All right. So, for you to activate that, you need to do a few things. So, first, you have to come back to General. Now, under this General, you can see that my address is in Nigeria. So, the first thing I want to do is that I want to change this address from Nigeria to uk so we're going to be using uk that is why i say you need a real uk address and you also need a uk utility b now for you to get the uk utility b you can just check the description of this video i already leave a link there on how you can get the b it's not free but it's affordable compared to setting up a us llc or setting up a uk company it's going to save you at least times five or times ten of what you are going to use to set up you know your company so once you get here you are going to put your legal business name now, for your legal business name, I want you to use your name, your full name, as your legal business name. So, that is what I'm going to do here. Now, for the country, you want to come here and change it to United Kingdom. Now, for the address, you want to go to Google. So, let me just fill in this information first. So, I've put in the business name, which is going to be my full name. Then, for the address, you have to go to Map. So, once you get to your Google Map, you want to type London. Then, click on OK. Then once you show you the map, this is London map, you want to zoom in. Just zoom in, like I can zoom in any part of this. So I'm just going to, let me just zoom in from here. Alright, so you want to find a building. So these are building, these are building. So all these are roads. So you want to just, you know, this is the building I'm going to select. So now this is the address I'm going to use. This is a real UK address. So just copy it, then come back to your Shopify store. Then you want to paste it right here. Then click on OK. Then it's going to automatically fill in all this information. So once that is done, just click on Save. All right. So once you save that, the next thing you want to do is to come to this your you know your store. Then you click on Edit. Then at this point you want to I'm just going to edit this. Then I can leave the phone number blank. This is a this is a, this is fake phone number anyway. So I'm just going to leave the phone number the way it is. Then I'm going to click on save. 
Now, once we are done with these two things, you can now go back to payment again. So this time around, you can see that the Shopify payment has been enabled. So the next thing you want to do now is to go ahead and activate the Shopify payment. All right, when you get here, you want to click on Submit Details. Under here, instead of picking a registered business, you know, I've already created the video before on how you can register Shopify payments, right? So, which where I register with my UK business, but for this particular one, we are going to be using individual. So, click on next. Now, once you get here, you want to type your first name and the last name, date of birth, email address. Then, this is where you are going to need UK phone number. So, you put your UK phone number here. Then, you go ahead and copy the same address you use here. Just copy this address and come back here and paste it again so make sure it's a real uk address don't worry about you know you can pick any address once you request for the utility bill if any address you put on your shopify store it's what is going to be on that utility bill that i'm going to send to you once you request for that utility bill because the address on the utility on the utility bill and the uh, name need to match if it does not match they are not going to accept it and the utility bill as well you cannot use any other utility bill so you have to be careful when you are doing this so that they can just blacklist your you know your entire details and including your id card and all that if you don't do this thing properly so right now i've put the address i'm going to go ahead and put the my uk phone number put the email address put my first name and last name make sure you put the real date of birth on the id card you want to submit right once i fill in the information i'm just going to come here and click on next now another thing i forget to mention in the beginning of this video is that you are not going to need to use vpn or vps or you know to fake your location when you are raised when you are registered for this um, account unless you have your address has been blacklisted and you know any accounts you open at this point is going to be getting banned then you cannot go ahead and use vpn but throughout this uh, video i don't use vpn and if you must use vpn don't use the you know the regular vpn make sure you use a vpn with resident ip like the maestro and you know or that just research for um vpn with resident ip or just research for resident ip address you know so once you get here you want to come here and select the category now for me i'm just going to be doing retail then I'm going to come to the subcategory. I'm going to be doing um, beauty products. Depend on the kind of product you are selling. Yeah, you just have to describe the your what your business is all about. So for you, I'm just going to say I sell. All right. So I'm just going to do that. All right. So once I you know describe a little bit of what I say, I'm just going to show down. You are going to put your UK phone number again. Make sure you have your UK phone number from you know whether from Numero or I'm also going to drop a link in the description of this video where I recommend some phone number that you can use, like virtual phone number. They are not free, but they are not you no know, expensive as well. So if you cannot spend, you know, hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars to set up a UK company or US LLC, at least you should be able to spend like uh maybe five dollars to buy a phone number, then maybe another thirty dollars or forty dollars to buy a CTB. Let just say fifty dollar for this whole setup as well. So fifty dollar compared to five hundred dollars, two hundred dollar and thereabouts is kind of cheap. So once you get here, this VAT identity that is the VAT identity, you want to click on this button that I do not have a VAT number. So just click on it, then click on next. Now this is the last part of the registration where you are going to need to submit your uh, information. So here yeah, they are going to ask you to confirm this information. So you just want to click on confirm. Then right here, this is your information, your address, date of birth, and all that. So you are just going to show down here. You can see that it says verification document. So right here, this is how you, where you want to upload your ID and your uh, utility bill. So here, I'm just going to click on upload document. Here, I'm going to show down. Then I'm going to select any of this, you know, any of this here. So you can see utility bill right here. So I'm just going to click on utility bill. Then I'm going to come here and upload my utility bill. And for you to get your utility bill as well, I've said earlier, the link is in the description of this video. So once you click on that link, it's going to redirect you to this page. Make sure you see something like this or something similar. You know, I have a lot of link in the in the description, but you want to click on the link that once the link directs you to this page, then you know that you're on the right page. So um, right here, this the pricing. 
if you are from Nigeria, you are going to be paying about 11,800 for this. But if you are from, you know, outside Nigeria, you are going to be paying about 17.79 dollar for this. And for you to use this, you need to have a PayPal account. If you don't have a PayPal account or you cannot check out with PayPal, you can pay with crypto or with your card. But it's not integrated on this website. Only PayPal was integrated on this website. So if you want to pay with other payment method, you can actually scroll down here and send me a message on Instagram for the other uh, payment method that is if you have outside nigeria and also if you need a us utility bill to verify your stripe account or shopify payments you can also come here and click on this for you to get this it costs 35 dollars if you're outside nigeria or if you are in nigeria it costs 29,000 era so if you are from nigeria i just want to click on this link click on this button to pay it's going to redirect it to pay stake and you can pay but if you are from outside nigeria just fill in this form then click on submit you have to pay with paypal but if you don't have a paypal account as well you can just um throw down here and send me a message on whatsapp for other payment method maybe by the time you are watching this video maybe I've, i might have integrated other payment method as well once you request for this after payment is going to redirect it to my whatsapp where you can you know give me the details keep in mind that the utility bill you are going to get here you can only use this for stripe verification or shopify payment verification address verification if you're using it on other websites you have to send me a message for the website you're using it for so that i can you know recommend another you know other service or give you another form of utility b but the one you are going to get on this website for this price is going to be for stripe address verification and for shopify payment verification as well so once you get the utility b right or maybe before you register for this you might have you know uh get the address you want to use make sure you get the address on google make sure it's a real address get the address and get the utility utility b first because once you register for once you request for the utility b it's going to take about 24 hours after your payment is being confirmed for you to receive the utility b so once you receive the utility b you can now go ahead and you know upload it here so i'm just going to upload my own utility b right here so once i uploaded my utility bill it's going to be in pdf format so i'm just going to click on next now at this point i have to upload my proof of identity that is my um if i sh if i um press here this drop down you can see we have driver's license that is um electra id that is a voter's card if you are from nigeria or your nigeria voter's card might not work for this but driver's license um identity card that is maybe your national id card passport presidential permit but the two that actually work is this going to be this driver's license or passports so i'm just going to go with passport and upload my passport all right so once i upload my passport i'm just going to click on done so once i click on done it's going to redirect me to this page i'm just going to click on confirm then after this i'm going to click on submit for verification so i'm just going to click on that all right so at this point it's going to ask me to turn on the two-factor certification so uh for this you need an a two-factor authentication app then click on turn on because if you don't turn it on it's going to, to redirect it to the next page so once you click on that it's going to redirect here to log in again so i'm just going to log in with my google account all right so i've scanned the code i'm just going to type the number here so once i type the number i'm just going to click on turn on once i do that you can see right there say you have set up your authenticator app method so now i can now download the recovery code once i download that i'm just going to click on continue all right so once i click on continue the next thing i have to do now is to add my bank account so if you are from nigeria you can actually use a bank account from pioneer you can try gray and gig pay but in most cases if you have a pioneer account you can you know use it if you are from outside nigeria you can try pioneer as well or wise accounts any of those two will actually work so here yeah, i'm just going to click on add bank account then what you need is going to be source code and account number so i'm just going to log into my pioneer account to get that all right so if you are using pioneer for you to get your account number just click on you know um this currency because you need a gpp account remember we are using uk information to set up the shopify payment so once you get here you are going to scroll down you will see this receiving account then you want to click on this view info so it's going to view your information right here so i'm just going to copy this source code then uh, come back here put it here I'm going to go back and copy the account number copy then paste it here so I'm just going to click on save once I do that all right so at this point you can see that the Shopify account is 
active they have approved my documents sometimes when you get here it's going to ask you that your your document need to be verified contact support you don't need to worry just wait for a few minutes and refresh you are going to see that the account will be already verified if you do everything i teach you in this video exactly as i you know walk you through the whole process now what i want to do at this point is i want to test if the shopify payment is working on my store so i'm just going to refresh so i add this product to the store so that we can test it so i have to change the price i have to lower the price to one dollar just for testing purpose so let me just do that quickly so now i've reduced the price to one dollar as you can see so i'm just going to click on the product it's going to show me the shopify payments you can see right here this means the shopify payment has been activated so i'm just going to click on add to cart i'm going to click on checkout all right so at this point i'm going to just put in the information and all that so but before i do that i have to set up this the delivery that is to deliver outside um nigeria because at when i registered the shopify account i registered as a nigeria remember before we change it to uk so it's going to be showing nigeria as the default address then i'm going to be registering the shipping method it's going to be free so let me quickly do that so that you can come back here and also if you want to customize maybe your product page or your checkout page i've already created a video now you can do that on this channel you can just check the description of this video to check out the video on how to do that all right so i've done that so i'm just going to refresh this page and uh, let's see so i can come here now and select united states then uh it's going to bring out the shipping address soon so yeah i'm just going to put in fill in the information all right so right now i've put in the necessary information and my card details so the next thing i want to do is to just to click on pay now to check if this is actually working voila so you can see it said uh, thank you somewhere your order has been confirmed and all that so if i go to the back end of my shopify store right now i'm just going to consider the one order has already reflected there all right so you can see paid and uh, this money is not going to reflect on your shopify payment immediately right so it's going to take few days for the payment to actually reflect you can click here to check on view payout and all that this usually the payout usually take two to three days or sometimes up to five days for you to get your uh, payout so as simple as that that is how you can set up a shopify payment without us llc without vpn without uk company all you need is a uk phone number uk address your country id card and utcb so what you want to do right now is to go ahead and get all this thing ready and for you to get your utcb as i said earlier just come to this uh, website we are going to find it in the description of this video it's going to land you here if you are from nigeria you click here if you are from outside nigeria you just click here and if you need us utility bill you can actually click here it's going to redirect you down here and this is the price if you are from nigeria click here if you are from outside nigeria just go ahead and click here and get the us utility bill and as simple as that so as i said earlier this utility bill you can only use it for stripe or shopify payments so if you want to use it on another website just click here to send me a message on instagram and if you don't have paypal account to check out if you are from other country you can also send me a message on instagram so that i can give you other payment options so basically that is how you can set up your shopify payment as non-us residents and if you find this video helpful you might also find my free ebook helpful on how you can make your first one millionaire or one thousand dollars in the next 90 days and for you to get that just check the description of this video and grab your free copy now and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that youtube can recommend this video to more people like you share this video with your friend subscribe to this channel turn on the bell notification so that anytime i drop a new video just like this you'll be among the first people to be notified